Hey Jamarty, signing in. Welcome to part 15 of the C++ and S1 2 platform tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to be fixing the, the part where where we had a sold out. It's all, all moving all good, but then when we want to actually go space, when you're happy with the sprite, all of a sudden you go to your output and you check out your text file and you realize that's not making any sense. So we're going to fix that today and hopefully we'll finish up the sprite wrapper this tutorial or hopefully next tutorial. So let's crack our coding knuckles and let's get started. So we're going to want to scroll all the way down and now right here what we were doing before is we were just incrementing x and then we had a nice little x position which worked all good but now that we have our fps here or a little time value here it's a bit more complicated now this is flow so the best method of approaching this would just be to actually create some variables and then assign to that variable the position of the sprite because the sprite already has an x and y coordinate so we can already use that so we are going to want to create some integers we're just going to go int and we're going to create an x position not a z position x position and you can set that equal to a zero for right now that'll work fine and create another integer and do basically the same thing just for y position set that equal to zero as well and then we'll scroll down and what we're going to want to do is is we're going to want to set these here to these two variables to a value so all we have to do is we can just go right off right before the window clears is a good spot to put it so we're just going to go x position and set that equal to sprite sheet and then dot get position and then dot x so that's going to give it the x value the x coordinate of our sprite so and that line of semicolon that's about all there is to that do the same thing for y y position equals sprite sheet whoops not like that sprite sheet dot get position and then dot y this time so now we actually have these variables but they're not much good if we're not actually using them so then what we want to do is we want to instead of using x velocity right here we're going to want to use the x position so x position and we're going to want to use y position y. there we go so if we save it and if we didn't debunk all this all up it should all work good so i'm going to move over to the x and y coordinates over to the right 50 pixels because i know that this sprite is a 50 pixel sprite or it's fairly close it might be a little off but i'm gonna hit space and now in our text file no no we see that it's still gibbed up and as to be honest with you i'm having an issue with code blocks right now it just might, will not compile so that's obviously going to be an error but according to code blocks it actually is running fine so it's not compiling it's just running let's spell this right out glitch alert and exclamation mark or something like that so there we go so it should be able to find that but no it says it's all good this is why i don't even put up with the bother with the ides i just actually use my favorite stuff is sublime and then i use the linux terminal to compile it okay i'm gonna have to delete this o file in here an object debug i'm gonna have to delete it yes compiling on it so we've got our compiler back so now we can take out our purposely intended glitch compile and run it now if we move over at 50 pixels and no, it's 50 pixels right there close enough hit space ah 51 pixels thank you compiler for finally smarting it up so what can we learn from this we can learn that in the event that it will run your project and not compile it go into object debug and delete that o file so anyways that is all working good but what we are missing here is we're missing a zoom in function because we might have big sprites we might have small sprites we don't know exactly how big our sprites are going to be but we're going to want to be able to zoom in zoom out work around like that so let's create a quick zoom in function we're going to scroll up to the top of our main function and right here we're going to create a few variables so we're going to start with int zoom scale and this is just going to be the scale of how much it's going to be zoomed by so scale, zoom scale is pretty explicit and to the point scale and you can set that equal to we already had it it's equal to seven so we can just leave it at that replace these sevens with the zoom scale the reason we use a variable here instead of something like just saying seven every time is that then we'll be able to change it so we want to set it to to a zoom scale and now down here and now it's actually using the variable but now the, if the variable doesn't change nothing's going to change so we want to change that variable we're going to test for some logic here so we're going to type if opens parameters parameters you want to give it is keyboard and then to the ordinary scope resolution operator which says that is key pressed belongs to keyboard and then inside there you're going to type keyboard again to colons and then the key we're going to be dealing with right now is just z so z to zoom in sounds pretty awesome to me 
and then open up some scroll braces and inside the body of uh, it's actually called the body the technical term this here inside here all this good healthy stuff that's the body of the if statement just in case you have tests on it or something it's always helpful to know so and then what we want to do is we want to increment our zoom scale so we're just going to type zoom scale and then just plus plus is to increment it's basically saying zoom scale plus it goes one adding one to zoom scale and now we will actually want to zoom our in our sprite so it's a sprite sheet i believe it is dot scale and what's the parameters the parameters we're going to give it is the zoom scale and the other parameter we're going to give it is again just the zoom scale because we want to zoom it by the exact same variables to make it look all good zoom scale and in that line with semicolon save it run it there we go so i hit z and i've zoomed in a little excessive but i've zoomed in but now we want to zoom out so to zoom out we can just copy that here Control c hit enter paste that in there instead of z we're going to deal with x and all these keys they're going to be listed down on the sfml documentation there'll be a link over that down in the description so instead of incrementing x we're going to decrement x which is basically just saying x minus one and then oh, it should also be the same save it run it we won't need any else logic here because this here is only incrementing it's only adding something to it if you set a value equal to five it's going to be five forever until you say it's not but this is just saying only while you pr only while you press z it's going to increment so we don't need any else logic hopefully the compiling button still working zoom in zoom out with x no okay so it's zooming in and out but it's zooming in and out way too fast so what we want to do is we only want to zoom in once per click per time you press the key so to do that we're going to want to create some a boolean and to do that all you got to do is just say boolean just bool and we're going to create a boolean and this one we're going to call ken zoom we're going to set this equal to true because initially you can zoom in and that's all we're going to need for booleans for now i believe so down here where is that right here so now you can only press the key if you're allowed to press the key so we're going to create an open up if statement and the if statement is going to be if can zoom scroll braces there we go now we want to copy all of this here so this is going to only happen if you can zoom Control c to copy and then just want to paste all that nice healthy code right in there select all that tab it over all nicely so then if you are allowed to zoom in once then you're going to want to stop zooming in so then we're going to set can zoom and we're going to set that equal to false so that this all this here can no longer happen anymore because it's false and that line with the semicolon and we can do the same thing for here as well so can zoom equals false and that line with the semicolon but now that it okay so it's all false but now we want to set it back to true again and how we're going to set it back to true is is we're going to go if opens parameters and then open up a not the not operator which says whatever i'm about to say is not true go ahead and do whatever it is i'm going to tell you and what we're going to be testing for is a keyboard press or actually a not keyboard press so a non-keyboard press open two colons is key pressed and then keyboard and then two two colons and then the key we're going to be done with is x so if this player is not pressing x then what's going to happen then you can zoom once again so can zooms can be set back equal to true once again as long as if you're not pressing it if you're pressing it it's fair game but if you are pressing it then you know, it's only going to run through one iteration which iteration is basically just says it runs through this little chunk of code once so that's one iteration so you can only do one iteration before it quits the loop so right in here but if you're not pressing the z key the x key that's going to be not enough we're going to want the player to be not zooming of any kind zooming in or out so then we're going to have to go open up the app and operator which is two and signs and then then we can just copy this line of code right here again make sure you're copying the right parameters copy all that paste that in here instead of z it's going to be instead of x it's going to be z instead of just scaling it we're going to want to set the scale yeah, not just scale so set scale should fix all of our glitches and errors and troubles and it should be trouble free from there so save that run that and it should be zooming in and out go it's actually that actually looks really good so you can zoom in super far if you want you can zoom up super far if you want as well so that's actually really awesome and decent if you want to get around fast and then all good then ooh, time for some precision work then we'll zoom in a little bit more instead of just dividing this by seven down here in the r if key, if keyboard press space logic here instead of seven we're going to want to go with the zoom scale because that's what we're using to zoom it in so we're just going to do the same thing for there zoom scale control save 
give that a go. If I move over to the right, I'll hit space, and it should be about like 51 pixels or something like that. And we have a confirmed output of 51 pixels. Looks, this is working quite beautifully. So now the last thing that we need is we just need a function so that we can gather the width and height of our sprites. Now, we've got the X and Y coordinates, but we need the width and height. So that's what we're gonna be doing next to tutorial. We're gonna finish off the sprite mapper so we can get actually back in the game. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys have any thoughts, questions, or comments about C++, leave that down in the comment section. And thank you for subscribing and watching. And I hope you guys had a great holiday, had a great Christmas. And I'll see you next video. Agent Mario, and Happy New Year.